Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Elite Nails and welcome to my very first video on my channel. I am so excited to finally get this up for you guys. Um, with this being my first video, I thought I would just share a bit about myself and how I got started in the nail industry and give you a short little tour of my studio and my nail desk. Um, I know as a nail tech myself looking at other videos on YouTube of of different studios and salons and uh, I really enjoyed it. got a lot of ideas uh, and I will post uh, links to everything that you see here in the bottom. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me on my Facebook page Elite Nails by Carrie and my Instagram at Elite Nails by Carrie. So let's just get started. So I became a nail technician in December of 2014. Um, this was a big decision for me. I had uh, worked in the accounting field for 20 some, what's 20 years. <laughs> and so my daughter was living with me and I knew that she was getting to be that age where she would eventually want to move out. So I needed to supplement that income somehow. So with working in accounting and working full time, uh, coming home after work, I just did not feel like doing much of anything except for, you know, you have to make dinner and do your nightly routine around the house for the family. So I wanted something that I would enjoy and I would be excited to do every day. And um, I always got my nails done from my nail tech, she encouraged me, why not, why not become a nail tech? Go to school and, and do this if this is something that you really wanna do. So after a few months of contemplating, um, checking out different schools, prices, etc., uh, I decided to do this. Um, I decided to go with exclusively Vogue Nails here in Kelowna. They train with their product um, on Vogue, which is a phenomenal product. I graduated right before Christmas. Um, that was a very hectic time. You know, you have to plan for Christmas. There's shopping, there's baking, there's preparing food. You know, you're having family come, working full time, um, practicing, doing nails uh, after school and after work, um, studying doing your homework. Uh, it was a very, very busy three months, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, hey. Thanks to my hand models that came in and supported me. My daughter was wonderful in getting her friends to come in and, and um, be my models for me. Um, so I want to thank my daughter very much for being my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. She's she was there for my last day of classes right after my exam, uh, saw me get my certificates and that was a very emotional time for me. It was, it was a huge accomplishment for me because school is something that's, I mean, it's school studying for exams. I don't think you ever get rid of that fear of, oh my gosh, if, what if I fail? What am I going to do? I spent all this money and well, you know, worrying is a waste of time because that didn't happen. And Past with flying colors. Um, I'm a certified nail technician. Very excited. Very proud. And I think at this time, let's get started with the nail tour portion of the video. This is what clients will see when they first walk in. So I'm just going to do a quick panoramic view. And this is it. Not a huge room, but I think it's perfect. This was my daughter's room and when she moved out I immediately changed it into my studio. To the left is an antique dresser that I got from my grandmother. I was going to refinish it um, and do that. I really like that distressed look. Um, I had so many clients just say, no, no, don't do it. You'll regret it. And it looks good just the way it is. And I happen to agree. I mean, this was my grandmother's and much. So I just keep supplies in here, arts and crafts. Um, um, 
these lights and the candles are on when clients walk in. It, it kind of gives a nice, comfortable, relaxing feel. The lamp I got at Walmart, um, these two candle holders uh, they for tea lights, I got at Winners. I just absolutely love it. Um, I got this candle at Winners as well, and I'm not lighting it because once it melts, it's gone, and there's just no replacing it. It's oh, this is this is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the sparkles on it, but it looks like um just a roll of pearls. I mean, how cool is that? And then the two mirrored plates I got at the dollar store. These candles I got at Christmas as well from the dollar store. Um. I thought I, I I had a white Christmas tree with blue and silver on it and I liked these so much that I thought I'd keep them out all year round. A uh, couple pictures I got from Winners as well. My chalkboard I got from Michaels. Um, I'm just going to zoom back here. If you see a furry thing on four legs, that's my cat. Yeah, there she is. My cat, Bailey. She likes to come in here when I'm in here by myself and she sits on the chair and stares at me. It's so distracting. <laughs> Anyways, this chair, absolutely love this chair. I got it at HomeSense. Um, the pillow I got at uh, Walmart, I believe. And I just love the back of it. It's got this little metal ring, leftover material at the fabric store. But I thought it looked really cool there. This table I got at HomeSense years ago. I also have um, my price list and my menu of services. And I got the frame at Dollar Store as well as I blinged it out. Um, UV lamp got from school. It was silver. I spilt acetone on it. Ugh. And so I painted it black, didn't like that. So I covered it up with some bling. <laughs> Um, this armrest got at Canada Nail Supply. This is my dusk vent. Um, I have to say I don't like it, but I got it at school. Um, it works for right now, and it'll, it's great for what I need until I can afford to get a... I'm, I want a better desk and a better dust vent system. Um, so that's coming. My En Vogue lamp from school. Love it. A couple of extra silk plants that I just stuck here to hide stuff and then to hide products that are actually in this little cubby hole. Obviously this is a computer desk and it had a hutch. I took that off and it works just great. So coming around my desk you'll see two glass jars that I've filled with rocks. Got those at the dollar store. Um, bling them out. And then this is, I usually have a chair sitting here, but for filling purposes and being able to move around, I moved it. These two units here are from Michaels. I wanted the Alex units from Ikea, but we don't have an Ikea here in Kelowna. And shipping was more than the product, so when I saw these, I nabbed them. I love them. I'm just going to move in a little closer. My Hot Rock got this at Nail Techniques. This little mirrored um, or jewelry box. I just love this. I found this at HomeSense and I nabbed it right away. I just keep um, props for pictures in here. I mean, we all have these little guys. And every nail tech has one of these. I love this. Absolutely love this. So that's what I keep in here for now. I got this jar. Oh, where did I get it from? The dollar store. Again, with the theme of blinging everything out. I just keep glitters and... Um, pigments and that kind of stuff in here for now. Again, another mirrored plate and a lamp from Walmart. Um, this little box here I got at the dollar store going with that Paris theme. I love this thing. So, and I just keep decals in here for nail art. Some really cool ones. I just Hello Kitty. I use these more at Christmas time for some reason. I have some water decals in here too. I have some glitter, just little art stuff that 
I keep here. Okay, and then this pillow I was using as an armrest. I got it from one of the girls at school. She gave each of us one as a Christmas gift and a graduation gift. It was such a nice gesture. It is Christmassy, but I keep it out all year round. So going back here, um, I love this. This are my glass shelves I had made and I wanted it to be able to display my glitters because it was getting to be a pain in the, in the drawer and you can't see what color it is and taking it all out so everything's all nicely displayed. So they're Recollection and Martha Stewart glitters. Um, these ones I just got at Sally Beauty. Uh, per picked up a couple at Nail Techniques some um, art glitters. And then these are the coveted Light Elegance Pretties. And this is the, the one that everyone's just raving about. Gold Sparkle. So that's that. This I got at Michael's and I got this idea from the wonderful Talia. Uh, when I saw this at Michael's I was just so excited. I didn't think I'd be able to find exactly what she had that I thought was just amazing for holding forms. Um, the forms do come like they're huge so I unravel about half of the roll so it'll fit on here. The whole roll won't fit so I just put half the roll on here. So these are my stiletto forms that I, I'm in love with these forms from Swan Nails. And just regular gold forms. These are nice and thick so they form really nice and they're sticky. They don't come apart. Um, just some art brushes I got at, I think I got these at Bundle Monster. Um, some older brushes that I will use for glitters and so I don't get my new ones um, dirty or wreck them. My four new favorite, I should do a favorites video, <laughs> four new favorite uh, gel brushes are the three from Fusion uh, and this one from Swan Nails. And I just use um, these little tubes that you get the your brushes in, put them in here, put the brush in, that way I'm not wrecking the brush with the rocks. And then some of my dotting tools that I use on a daily basis. This is a, my second baby, my fan, where I need air blowing on me at all times. And then just over on this side, my flex lamp and my pride and joy, my brand new Erica MT20. Love this. I used it for her class. So I borrowed the instructors uh, for an advanced shaping class at Nail Techniques. And I remember um, someone saying to me, once you use it just once, you'll never go back to your own. She was absolutely right. If it wasn't the fact that this is an investment and it's not cheap, um, I did some major saving just to be able to purchase this baby. But you turn it on and it is so quiet. I didn't even know the bit here was turning. I mean, that's how amazing it is. It works great. Um, wipes that I use, I got this container here at Nail Techniques. I love this. It keeps the dust out. I have two different kind of wipes. These ones I don't, they're okay. Um, but I find that they um, break apart quite easily once the liquid gets on them. And then these are the pure cotton 100% lint-free wipes. I like these. I, I've heard some nail techs don't like them. I like them. They work really well for me and I don't get lint or any fuzzies on, on the nails when I'm doing them. So, um, so this is the view that I look at. And someone looks very comfortable there. I keep a clock right above the closet so I can keep an eye on the time. This here is a chair that I use for doing pedicures. Um, it is one of my patio chairs. I don't have enough room on my deck for it. I brought it in here. I stuck the blanket over top. I put a pillow on it just to add some color to the room. And I found that the clients that come in to get pedicures are usually after work. So they're either on their feet all day or working, running around all day. They come and sit into this and they're just like, 
you know, wake me when, it, when you're done. Like, they love this chair, so, I mean, it works great. And this stool I got at home since. This is my pedicure station. So I stand there that I have, um, I think I got the stand at Canadian Tire. Just two different colors of towels that I got at Superstore. This lovely little lamp, I will show you later in another video coming up real soon, um, is Ellie's, or Light Elegance's um, LED lamp that came out with their pedicure kit, which I'm going to do a review on. This That is such a cute little lamp. Top shelf, I just keep supplies of for pedicures, so some wipes, some prep and clean from Envo. Fusions cuticle oil, love that. Foot Logic. I bought these two glass containers at Winners. I was only going to buy one because I wanted it for the cotton balls. And I saw both of them there, and you know, Winners, when you see something you like, you get it when you're in that store. My um, light that I got from On Vogue. Um, my nail polish rack. This is just regular nail polishes for pedicures. You know, not a huge selection, but there's enough colors there that some there's got to be something someone likes. So on the top shelf, I have C and D Vinyl Lux Butter London. I love Butter London. I just love that brand. It goes on so nice. It's it's just an amazing uh, product. I should have more and I don't know why I don't. A few MAC products, obviously OPI and some China Glaze. And then I love my base and top coat. Regular pedicures or just regular manicures. Love this product, it dries really fast. So just backing up a little bit, we'll go up and here are my certificates that I proudly display. And then back this way, um, another antique dresser for my grandmother. Um, my computer, I will have Netflix on there. I sometimes have my web page up with my menu of services or I'll have my pictures that I have on my website scrolling or music. It depends on the mood and what we feel like. These are my gel polishes up here. Now I got these racks at, I bought one from a girl here in Kelowna, and then the other two I got at Nail Techniques. Um, Orly Gel Effects Gel Polish. Let's kind of walk a little closer. I love Orly Gel Effects. Ugly Duckling by Swan. I love Swan Nails Ugly Duckling um, Gel Polishes, and I can't wait to get more. I, I mean, just looking at it, I do not have enough of their colors. So I am going to be doing a uh, review and swatch for you just to show you my uh, share with you my opinions on it and then caption nail polish um, use this is an awesome product for regular pedicures or manicures and it's awesome for stamping obviously it was made for stamping with the stamping plates and from young nails and then down below I have um, Sally Hansen's Insta Dry, and I only have a few colors, but I hope to get more because I really like it for using on the clear jelly stamper stamping plates. These polishes, along with the um, caption, work awesome. I find for me that they have worked awesome with those plates and the stamper as well. It's a different technique. There um, is a video out. Uh, Talia has an awesome video and review on the clear jelly stamper and I actually learned a lot of how to apply the stamp. Um, it's like a flick of the wrist and I've been moving down. This was a, um, a wine rack that I've had for years. Again, got it at home since. I love that store. Um, I had my towels and stuff in here but it got to be more of a pain rolling them up and trying to put them in there so they look nice so I gave up and put them in a bin. These hands are brand new. I got them at Michael's. I wanted something to display my swatches. And then my business cards in the middle. And this is my garbage can. Yes, it is a blinged out garbage can. Go figure. I got it at Winners and I think it's more of a, a holder for silk plants. So that is it. So I'm just going to scroll back. I hope I didn't forget anything. If there's something that you saw that I didn't mention, comment down below and I'll do my best to reply back as soon as I can. 
and that is it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel i will be getting more videos up on product reviews um, some tips and tricks and we will see you next time bye